Hi everyone, my name is Leela and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a delicious chicken and bell pepper stir fry. Now we're going to start with chicken that is marinated and then fried mixed with green and red bell peppers. And this is going to be tossed in a sauce that is made with black Chinese vinegar. So let's go ahead and get started on our chicken and bell pepper stir fry. After all of the fat is removed, we just want to cut it into one inch pieces, just about this size. Once my chicken pieces are cut, I'm just going to place them in a container that has a tight fitting lid. And then I'm going to add the marinade. Now the first thing I want to do is just sprinkle in the salt. And I'm going to use my hand and just stir to coat each piece of the chicken. Next, I'm going to add in the sherry. And again, just pour it in and use my hand to make sure that it coats each piece of the chicken. Now I'm going to add the egg white. Now the egg white, we want to make sure coats each piece of the chicken, but we don't want to mix it in too hard because we don't want the egg white to froth. If it froths, the meat will actually end up being hard in the final dish. Once the egg white's mixed in, I'm just going to add the cornstarch. And I'm just going to gradually sprinkle it in and then use my hand to kind of coat each piece of the chicken. And when the cornstarch is mixed in, then I'm going to use the oil and drizzle it in. And again, use my hand to make sure that it gets distributed evenly. And once the oil is mixed in, then I'm going to place the lid on my chicken and just let it marinate up for about 30 minutes at room temperature. Here I have the two red and two green bell peppers. And what I want to do is I just want to remove the stems and the inner meat, the inner white meat, as well as all of the seeds. So what I usually do is I just cut the stem out like this, or you can simply cut it in half, and then I cut it in half like this, and I remove all of this inner white meat and all of the seeds. And I want to do that for all of the peppers here. And once I removed all of the stems and seeds and inner white meat, I just rinsed them under cold running water and dried them with paper towels. Now I just want to cut them into about one inch pieces. Just about this size like that. And once the peppers are cut, we can just place them in a container and set them aside. Now for my sauce, I'm going to mix together my soy sauce, which I have in this cup right here, with my chicken vinegar, the sherry, which is just plain cooking sherry, and sugar. And I'm going to stir this all up, and this is going to be the sauce for our pepper chicken stir fry. And in a small cup, I'm just going to mix the cornstarch with just a little bit of water just until it dissolves. And this is going to be the thickener for our sauce. Once our oil is hot, we can go ahead and add in our chicken. And we don't really want it to sizzle. We just want it to gently cook until it is cooked through. And once the chicken is just cooked through, we can then remove it and then we just want to place it on a plate lined with paper towels. Okay. 
And once the oil is hot, we're just going to add our teaspoon of pre-chopped garlic. And we're just going to stir fry this for about 30 seconds. And then after 30 seconds, we just want to go ahead and add in our red and green peppers. And then you can go ahead and just return the chicken to the wok. And then add in the sauce. And then we just want to stir and mix it all up together. And once everything is mixed together and it slowly starts to come to a boil as you can see here, then we want to go ahead and add in our cornstarch mixture and just stir to mix everything together and to thicken the sauce. And once the sauce thoroughly coats each piece of the meat, then you can remove it from the heat and serve. Enjoy!